Hello, everyone, and welcome to this month's Connect with ControlM. My name is Octavio Vasquez, and I'm a ControlM technical support analyst serving the Americas region. Our topic today is activating ControlM Enterprise Manager Disaster Recovery, where I will show you the architecture of a ControlM Enterprise Manager DR, DR server and how to switch between your primary server and DR server. Let's check today's agenda. We will start describing the general architecture of a ControlM Enterprise Manager DR server and how it interacts with your primary environment. Next, I will describe you how we will use the restore host config script to switch from the primary to the DR environment and back to the primary. After that, I will explain you the scenario that we will address during our demo. We will continue with the live demo, and finally, we will wrap up with a Q&A session where we will go through your questions posed during the webinar. This picture illustrates our architecture. On the left side, we have our primary site, where we have our primary control M enterprise manager with its database. On the right side, we have our DR site, where we have a DR control M enterprise manager server with its DR database, okay? Uh, as we can see, we are replicating our primary database to the DR database. So our DR database has the same information than the primary, and it is ready to be used in case that we need to activate our DR environment. It is important to emphasize that this replication must be performed using the own database tools. There is no control and utility or component that will perform this, okay? So this implementation, the implementation or, and the maintenance of this replication is a responsibility of your database teams or DBA. Now let's talk a little bit about the restore host config script. Um, I'm pretty sure many of you are, are already aware of this script. Uh, this is a very useful tool that enables us to perform different actions. In this case, we will use the dash dr primary, dash dr dash primary option. This option basically updates the control M enterprise manager database with the host name of our primary or DR server. So once the, once the, the host name is uh, updated, we are able to uh, start the components on each of these servers. Basic, uh, this option, as, as I mentioned before, basically will go to the Control M Enterprise Manager database and update these two tables the config underscore HA and the confresh table with the right host name, the host name of the machine where we want to start the enterprise manager server. It could be the primary server or the DR server. Uh, during the demo, I will show you how these tables look before and after our, uh, after activating the DR EM server. During our demonstration, uh, we will address the scenario when our primary site goes unavailable. Okay, so we will, we will simulate that our primary enterprise manager server and the primary database um, goes down or they are unavailable. So we need to activate our DR, DR enterprise manager server and DR database. I will show you how to use the restore host config script to do it. And after that, I will show you how to return to the, to the, original, to the original environment in our primary site, okay? I will show you how to, how to switch back from the, from the DR server to the primary server. Um, again, uh, just to emphasize the, the replication, uh, before we switch back to the primary server, we need to reestablish the replication because, of course, the DR database will have new new information of when when we have been working on that environment. It will, for example, it will have new job definitions or new users. So all these 
information needs to be replicated back to the primary database before we we start the and the control element enterprise manager on the primary server. So now let's move to our demo environment. So here is my environment. Uh, here is the configuration manager. As you can see here, this is the name of my primary enterprise manager server. I have these components down. Um, of course, this is not the, the normal the normal situation that we usually have, but I have these components down just to show you or to make uh, make uh, the the stop and the start of the control M enterprise manager server faster. Okay, just for the for this exercise of the demo. Okay, so um, take note of the of the server name. That's the the host name of the primary server name. I'm going to close the the configuration manager because I'm going to switch from the primary to the to the DR server. Here is my primary server. First, I want to show you the database that this environment is, is using. So I run the emdbu status command to check the dbu, the database information. So as you can see, this is my server host name. I use an alias, right? Just to just to make this, uh, this exercise and be more, more clear with that. So this is the, the name of my database here. And now I'm going to start stop the components. So we can switch to the DR Control Name Enterprise Manager server. I'm going to use uh, this command to stop the components. Oops. Remove my mouse. Okay. Okay, here it goes. Okay, so I'm I'm stopping the control enterprise manager on my primary on, on my primary server. Okay, let's wait until while the the components are stopped. Okay, it has been stopped. So now let me move to my DR server. This orange screen is my DR DR server. I want to show you the database that this enterprise manager server is using with the same command, the dbu status. Okay, so as you can see, this one is connected to my DR database server. Again, I use an alias to make it more representative. So now, um, the, the components have been stopped in my primary enterprise manager server, so before I am able to start the 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 components here in my DR server, I need to run the restore host config uh, tool, okay, to update the host name. Let's take a look of uh, to those tables that I mentioned before. Um, here is my primary database session. So I'm going to check these uh, tables, how they look now, okay? So here is the config underscore HA. As you can see, it has the primary host name, the host name of the primary server, Let's look at the conf refresh. Okay, it has the primary, uh, the, the host name of the primary server also. So now let's run the restore host config to update this information. So here in the DR server, I'm going to run restore underscore host underscore config dash DR dash primary, okay? That's the option that we need to use. This script, um, before before it is executed, it recalled me that it is important to have a backup of the database because recall that this script will modify the information in the database and also ask me to validate that the processes are down. I, I know that the processes are down in my, in, in my DR server, so I'm going to enter yes. It asked me for the DBO password. Okay, and now let's see how the table looks. I'm going to the DR server, DR database server, and here is the here is the table. And as you can see, the host name has been updated. We have we check the confresh. Also, the host name has been updated. Okay, so at that point, I'm ready to start the components 
in my DR Control M Enterprise Manager server. So I do the start config agent. Let's give it a couple, a, a minute. Okay. I'm going to run this command to check if the configuration server has been started. Not yet, okay. Let's give it a minute. Still starting. Okay, so right now the components are in the process of being started. Let's wait a little bit. It's taking a little bit of time. Okay, seems like they have been started. So let's check the configuration manager. Of course, once I switch to uh, to my DR server, I will need to I will need to update the connection details in my Control M clients. Okay, because they were pointing to the to the primary uh, Control M Enterprise Manager server. So I point it here, okay, and I'm logging. Okay, let's wait while the Configuration Manager is ready. And we will see it. Again, yeah, this, these two tables are very important for the Control M Enterprise Manager, the tables that are updated, because those tables uh, say on which host name the, the components are running. So we are now in our Control M Configuration Manager, and as we can see, we are running on the DR server. Here is the DR server name, okay? This is uh, the Kafka services are taking a little bit to start. Now they are ready, okay? So we are totally running in our DR Control M Enterprise Manager server using the DR database. So now let's see how what we need to do to switch back to the primary environment. So I'm going to close the Configuration Manager because I'm going to stop the components on the DR Control M Enterprise Manager server. I stop them with the same command. This command, what it, what it does is to send the, the configuration agent the instruction of stopping all the EM components. So I stop this, and while the components are stopped, let me, uh, as you may recall, I mentioned you that we need to when when we enable the the DR server, we need to re-enable and before before going back to the primary environment, we need to re-enable the replication but this of the database, but this time from the DR database to the primary D database. Okay, so let's check what is the information in these two tables in the primary database server. We run the config HA. And as we can see, we have the DR server and also in the confresh. So yeah, the, the, the data has been replicated from the DR database to the primary database. That's why we see the DR server hostname. So now the components are down, okay? So I go to my primary Control M Enterprise Manager server and again, I'm going to run the restore host config with the same option, the dash dar dash dr sorry dash primary to update the host name to the primary server host name. Again, it, it asks me to to check that the processes are not running. I do yes. And this, the script has performed the modification successfully. Let's check the database before, well, let's start it before, before checking the database because it will take some time. So let's start it. 
And while it is starting, let's check the database, how it looks now. The primary database, let's run the queries again. And now the table is, is showing the primary server hostname. Check the confresh also. And it has been updated correctly. Excellent. So I'm ready to start the, the Enterprise Manager on my primary server. Let's check if it is already start. Okay. I think uh, I'm looking for the wrong process. So let's check the naming service. Okay, the naming service is, is starting. Okay, while, while the components start, I want to show you where are the logs that the restore host config utility generates. So these logs are available under the log directory of the ControlM Enterprise Manager server. This is the whole path. And um, you, if you have any problem with the restore host config, for example, if you receive an error while running the restore host config with this option, you need to come here to the log directory and you will see a, a directory named restore host config. Go into that directory and here are the logs of all the actions that the restore host config is performing. For example, let's check, this is the, the main log that we will need to check, the restore host config log. We check it and we will find all the steps that the script is doing. This script, as I mentioned before, is modifying these tables. So you will see all the SQL operations that this script is doing. Here is the confresh, for example. And in case that you have any error, you will see here which, which was the step that failed. So it can help you to troubleshoot it. Otherwise, you can, you can contact us and provide this information and we will be glad to, to help you. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that the Control M Enterprise Manager has been started this time in the in the primary server. Let's try to access the Configuration Manager. Okay, again, I need to change the host here because it was pointing to the to the DR server. Okay, I log in. And it will show me that my Control M Enterprise Manager server is now running on my primary server. We can see again the hostname has been updated and now we are running back on our primary EM server. Okay, so let's go back to our slides. Okay, so I would like to share uh, with you this useful uh, resources. The first one is a link to the restore host config documentation where you can get further information about the options available for the restore host config script and what each option do, okay? For example, you will find more information about the dash dr option. The second one is another link to control documentation where we describe the procedure to upgrade or install a fix pack on a dr server. You can find these links in the attachment section. I really hope you found this information helpful. Thank you very much for taking time to join this webinar. 